Hi guys, my name is Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk movies. So as you guys know, last month I didn't really watch that many new movies. I, there was a lot of rewatches in there for me. So this month I decided to watch a lot more new content so I could share it with you. So in the month of September, I watched a lot of films. Okay, so I'm going to do this video a little bit different to the other ones that I've done. I'm going to discuss things in bulk, especially if I've watched multiple movies in the same franchise or universe. I want to talk about them in bulk, so I'm going to be doing that in this video. So I'm going to go through my rewatches first, and then I'll go through the new movies. So my first rewatch of the month is Jurassic Park. Obviously, I've seen it before millions of times. One of my favorites, a classic, grew up with it, love it, love Steven Spielberg, so... I don't really think I need to say much else about it. The next rewatch is The Craft. I hadn't seen this movie in a long time and it's something that I have rewatched a couple of times in the last few years. I only gave The Craft three stars because it does have its problems. I think that especially in the third act of the movie, it's just very slow and weird and I don't know, I feel like it could have ended differently. The first two thirds of the movie are so great but then the third kind of just drops for me which is why I gave it three stars, but I still love it and I still enjoy it and I will definitely be re-watching it again, so yeah. So the next three movies I watched with my mum and that is Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman and Zack Snyder's Justice League. Last month, as you guys know, I watched Zack Snyder's Justice League and I loved it. Um, so I really wanted my mum to watch it and I kind of stuck her into it because I randomly put Man of Steel on and she decided to kind of watch all the trilogy movies, I guess. And um, she absolutely loved Justice League, so there was that. So that was just mainly for me to kind of get my mum into it. It's one of my favourites from the DC Universe. Really glad I rewatched it this month. Next, I watched Paranormal Activity 1, 2, 3 and 4. I was going to watch The Marked Ones and The Ghost Dimension, but I kind of just don't feel like it. I was going to do a Paranormal Activity ranking video and then decided against it because one, I'm not 100% fully into the franchise. I don't think it's like amazing at all. I think that the second movie is my absolute favorite out of all of them. I remember watching the marked ones a long time ago but I also remember not really paying attention and not liking it so I was like why would I waste two hours of my life watching a movie that I know I didn't like in the first place and then I'm not really keen on the ghost dimension even though I've heard it is better than the marked ones but yeah decided against it so I stopped at four but if you guys must know my ranking out of the four it would go two four one and three Four is pretty cheesy, but I just enjoy those jump scares that actually are pretty intense. So I liked those and I just think the second movie is the best one out of all of them. It just has the best scares, the best story, the best acting, just everything about it is amazing. And yeah, that's my ranking of the four. So don't expect anything in the future of Paranormal Activity because I will not be watching five and six. I have no interest. Next is Inner Space. I watch this with my family. We have family nights either Saturday or Sunday depending on my brother's schedule. So he comes over with his wife and usually we watch a movie that his wife hasn't seen. But most of the time we have because we are movie buffs in this house. And she hadn't seen this and I hadn't seen it in a long time. So it was really fun to rewatch this and it was hilarious. It's very 90s. I loved it and I enjoyed watching it again. The next rewatch was Blind Date starring Kim Basinger and Bruce Willis. Not a very good movie. I gave it two stars. Um, I just remember it being funny when I was a kid, but now it was like a bit too cheesy. But I love Bruce Willis and I sat through the whole thing and still found myself entertained. So those were the only rewatches for me. The next movies were all new movies. So yay, for the month of September, I watched a lot. So the first movie I watched was The Kissing Booth 3. Um, guilty pleasure of mine is the first two movies, especially the first Kissing Booth. I watched it like a lot of times. Don't judge me. I love it. I love, I'm a fan of cheesy teenage movies. I love that unrealistic, romantic 
you know, Cinderella story type of movie. So I went into this one hoping that it would be just as cute. Look, it was okay. I gave it two stars. It wasn't anything special. Neither are the other two, but it was good fun and I enjoyed myself, but I probably don't need the third one. I don't think we needed it. I think one and two is enough. Next, I watched Audition. I had heard so many good things about this movie and as a horror movie buff, of course, I was going to watch it. So I did and I enjoyed it, but I do think that it is overrated. I think a lot of people hype it up and it's not as good as the hype. Please don't come at me. I might be in the minority, but I just don't find it that great for the hype that I've heard of the film if that makes sense. Anyway, so I gave Audition three stars. I did find it very good. The acting was great. The storyline is very good, but it's just, it's very slow at the beginning and it doesn't really get into the horror elements until like the end. And even then it's not very long. Um, there were some bits in the movie that were unsettling. I will say, but don't go in with your expectations too high. I did. And it just wasn't amazing to me. Next, I watched It Comes at Night. I hadn't seen this before. I know, crazy. It's been out for a while, but I had it on my hard drive and I knew that I was going to watch it this month. And let me tell you, I gave it four out of five stars. I loved it. I know this is a movie where it's very like, you either like it or you don't. And I absolutely loved it. I thought it was an excellent movie. The acting was great, the tension was great, and that ending, like I went into this not knowing anything about it, I didn't know what it was about, didn't know what I was getting myself into. I think that's the best way to do it. Like it starts at such a random spot that you don't know what the hell's going on. And I kind of liked that. So I would suggest going into it blindly too. I really enjoyed it and I definitely think that you guys should give it a watch. So next I watched Career Opportunities starring Jennifer Connelly. It was cute and it was a cute teen movie, but I've seen better cute teen movies before. So this one wasn't really anything special, but I still gave this three out of five stars. I really do love the concept of them getting trapped in a target. I think that's really cool. And it reminded me of that episode from Dawson's Creek where Joey and Pacey get stuck in Target or whatever it is, Walmart. And um, it's just, I think that's just so fun. That would be so fun. And I just think it's a really fun concept. But besides that, the movie fell a little bit flat for me. Next is my favorite movie of the month. By far, love it. And it is Suspiria from 2018. I've been raving about this. I've been talking to my parents about how much I loved this. While I was watching it, I knew that I was going to give it like a four. I really loved the acting and the atmosphere and the story and just the way everything was told. It was just so beautifully made. And I knew that I was gonna give this a high rating, but it wasn't until the very, very end where I was like, okay, this deserves a five. This is my five out of five of the month and I absolutely love it. It is not your typical horror movie. It is not fast paced or anything like that. It is a slow burn, but it is just so well made and I think that's why it got the five for me. I think it's just such a really good film, not just a horror film, but film. Next, I watched Final Exam. I gave this one and a half stars. Not my favorite slasher 80s movie. There are so many better slasher 80s movies. So, you know, I still wanted to watch this because I do want to watch all the slasher movies that I can and it was nice to find this one but it wasn't anything special and I've seen better than this. I actually forgot to mention last month I watched The House on Sorority Row and I really liked that. Um, the more I think about it the more I love it. It's funny because when I watched it I think I gave it three stars but um, I really enjoyed that one. So if you needed to watch or wanted to watch a slasher, I think The House and Sorority Row is pretty good and maybe skip this one. Speaking of movies that I missed talking about last month, I also watched The Suicide Squad and I absolutely loved it. So I can't believe I forgot to talk about it because it was one of my favorite movies that I had seen that month. But yeah, um, 
If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's so much fun and it's so much better than Suicide Squad, the one that they've released before. Everyone's just more likable. So I definitely think that the Suicide Squad is better than Suicide Squad. Next, I watched Valley Girl starring Nicolas Cage, another cheesy teen 80s. It was okay. Um, again, I've seen better movies that have like the same premise. So yeah, this one was just okay. So the next three movies I watched because I'm going to be doing a DC Comics film ranking video in the future and I had three movies that I hadn't seen from the DC Comics adaptations, adaptions, I think you can say both. Um, there were three that I hadn't seen and they were Green Lantern, Wonder Woman 1984 and Tank Girl. So I decided to watch them. Um, I knew that... Green Lantern had a bad rep and I knew that it wasn't a good movie and I went in with really really low expectations and I hated it. Um, I gave it half a star and that's being generous. I literally gave up about 20 minutes into the movie but I pushed through and I watched the whole thing but honestly terrible. The villain was terrible. I just did not like this movie at all. Save your time and don't watch it. Not even Ryan Reynolds could save this. After that one, I watched Wonder Woman 1984 and again, heard that a lot of people didn't like this and I understand it is not a great movie and I won't be re-watching it again. Well, not in the near future anyway. Maybe when I forget about it. Like the visuals are nice and Gal Gadot is good in it, um, but the movie just drags. It's so long for what it is. I think the storyline is good, but it just wasn't executed well. And I think that there were some bits that were not necessary in it, some bits that didn't make sense, and other bits that were just a little bit too cheesy. I will say I went in with low expectations anyway, so I wasn't completely disappointed. I still enjoyed myself and I gave this one two and a half stars. I'm not going to rant because when I do my DC Comics ranking video, I want to talk about all the DC movies. So I don't want to go too deep into each of these, even though I kind of did with this one. Next, I watched Tank Girl. This one was a lot of fun up until they run into those kangaroo people. That's all I'm going to say. Like I was going to give it like a three, three and a half up until that point. And then when that happened, it dropped down to a two and stayed there. And I'll discuss it more in my DC Comics video. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Next, I watched The Blob from 1988. And this one was a surprise. I actually gave this four out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did, but it was a really good, well-made film. Um, and it was entertaining and it had really good horror scenes. So I just really loved this and I went in not really knowing much about it. So I, I kind of went in knowing that it was very like similar to The Thing and I loved The Thing. So I knew that I would enjoy this, but I didn't know that I would really love it as much as I did. Next, I watched Suspiria 1977, the original. So the one that I had watched, the 2018 one, is more of a um, homage to the original. So it's not a remake. They're very different films, but they have the same kind of baseline premise in the sense that they're, you know, a dance company and weird stuff's going on. And that's literally like the only similarities between the two of them. So with this original one, I know a lot of people are probably going to get a bit annoyed with me for saying this, but I didn't love it. I just didn't. I love the 2018 one. I gave the 2018 one five and I gave this one three and a half. Even though this is still over the midpoint in my ranking, I still just didn't love this one. I'm not going to keep it and I'm not going to rewatch it. It's not something that I'm drawn to. I don't know, maybe I went into this hoping it was going to be as good as the remake because the remake was the first one I watched. But yeah, I loved the remake. So maybe I put too much pressure on myself to like this one as much and I just didn't. But in saying that, it is still a very well-made movie. I really love the soundtrack. I think the soundtrack is awesome and the color 
that um, is used in the film as well, gives it that eerie feel. Next, I watched Malignant. Um, I gave this one two and a half stars. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. It's funny because I have heard people say you either hate it or you love it and I kind of was like in the middle because some of the stuff that happened in this movie I absolutely loved and some of the stuff I just kept scratching my head like what am I watching? Am I watching a horror movie or is this an action movie? Like there was so much going on in this film. The first 20 or so minutes, maybe 15 minutes is like horror and you it's scary like that those first 20 minutes are pretty scary but then after that it becomes this like thriller crime slash action slasher movie like it's so weird it has so many different like elements going on like sci-fi i don't know i don't know what the hell was going on but it was kind of like cherry falls the slasher movie cherry falls and like house of wax and and it felt like it had like a 1408 Stephen King thing going on with her like visions. But besides that, like I was expecting something different and I think that's why I didn't love it. Um, I think I went in expecting it to be like The Conjuring or have like supernatural elements, but it didn't. And that's probably why it was a very smart premise, very unique, I will say. I also don't think that this title fits the movie like it just doesn't make sense but anyways go into this movie not expecting too much and don't expect it to be a supernatural film next i watched the fly starring jeff goldblum and gina davis i gave this one two and a half stars i know a lot of people absolutely love this as well they tend to put it in the category with the thing and the blob but I didn't love this one like I did with those two. This one was okay for me. I think that because it's just more gross than scary, it wasn't really my cup of tea. I'm not a very big fan of like body horror. So I think that's why I wasn't really into it. But I still think it was a decent watch. And I still am glad I watched it because it's one of those movies that I have had on my list for a while. So glad I've crossed it out but yeah it wasn't my favorite I will say the last like 15 minutes of the movie are fantastic and really entertaining but besides that I wasn't really into it and yeah I really don't have anything else to say next I watched old this is the M. Night Shyamalan movie the new one and I'm glad I watched it because I want to do a M. Night Shyamalan ranking video but in saying that I didn't love this either I I'm in the middle with it like I like the idea and the premise I think it's very unique I think that that's what I like the most about it but being an M. Night Shyamalan movie I was expecting to I don't know have more twists and there is a twist but like to me it wasn't like a shocking twist it was just like oh that explains that but it wasn't like a oh my god kind of twist you know like his usual ones so it's not my favorite of his I didn't hate it so I'm in the middle so I gave it two and a half stars I still think that like maybe one day I'll rewatch it but at this moment in time I'm not going to own it because I just didn't love it and I also think the pacing in this movie is very strange like it is so slow to get to the point, but then when it does, it goes too quickly and things happen too fast and there's no time to react. And even when you do react, when the actors react in the movie, like the characters, it just seems really off. And that's probably why the acting wasn't very good. The reactions to things just fell flat. And yeah, so I, that's, that's the main issue for me in this movie, but I still enjoyed myself and enjoyed the ending. So next I watched The Guest. I was pleasantly surprised. I gave this one four out of five stars. It was just lots of fun. And I had no idea what I was getting myself into going into this movie. I thought this was a horror and then I thought, no, maybe it's a thriller. And it gave me like fear vibes, like Mark Wahlberg, like this guy reminded me of Mark Wahlberg in Fear. And that's where I thought this story was going, um, but no. 
and then I thought it was going another way and then yeah it was it was very pleasantly surprising and I enjoyed myself. I feel like I'll definitely watch it again. So I forgot to mention the TV series that I've been watching as well so I watched Selena the TV series and I watched American Horror Story 1984 so I thought I would add that in. I've also been watching Money Heist, Gilmore Girls and The Queen's Gambit so yeah thought I would add that. So if you guys want more of an in-depth or like more information about what I felt after watching each of these films you guys can check out my letterboxd account I will link it down below for you guys so you can have a look or follow me or whatever that's where I have all my opinions of after I watch the film I tend to put it in there straight away so all my opinions are fresh so if you guys want to go check that out you can Anyways, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a good month and I watched a lot of good movies, so I think that it was pretty successful. So because it is spooky season coming up in the month of October, all the films that I'm going to be watching are horror movies and I have posted already my Spooktober list if you guys are interested as well. So watch that. That's my previous video. And I will be watching New Horror as well to give you guys my wrap up at the end of October. And throughout the month of October, I want to do horror based videos. So for the month of October, all my videos will be like horror movie based. I hope that you guys will enjoy the content and I will see you in my next video. Bye.